They look like down-under bugs bunnies, but they're marsupials too. They eat more or less anything, but after a blaze, the poor desert soil is fertilized by the ash, so there's a greater variety of plants and insects for them to sample. Like the marla, they feed after dark to avoid dehydration. It's wickedly hot during the day, so some kind of shelter is vital. They have powerful front legs and claws to help with that. Two meters down is an air-conditioned retreat for the whole family, and it's also the safest place to be during a grass fire. In good years, after a burn, they can have four litters on the trot, so they can breed a bit like rabbits. The main survival trick is to only come out at night. To survive in the outback, you need to understand how it takes. There are a surprising number of animals in the desert hardcore. One of the toughest is the Mulgara. It doesn't even need to drink. Insects are 80% water, so it gets all the food and liquid it needs from its nocturnal hunts. Nor can they be fussy about what they eat. Mulgara will switch between anything. Birds, lizards, insects, spiders, even other mammals. And they can store fat in their stubby tails to see them through the lean times. No other country has so many feisty little desert carnivores 